So this is an observation on image software and email copy production with Edward Berry. Is your name Edward? Uh, this is Edward Berry. Right, okay. Um, first, you just talk me through the project, the brief of the project, what you're asked today. Uh, this is basically a very generic campaign that we've actually got going on at the moment. So I was tasked with briefing about a month and a half ago. Uh, this in, so we've got a. 10% off silver bullion off it's a really strong offer of ours it's one that our customers really like and it's essential that we get it right because otherwise it just doesn't look like actually the customers won't be interested and it's always one that does well okay. that we know from past campaigns so what do you need to do on, on the, is it Photoshop you use yeah, yeah. so what do you need to do on Photoshop so this is uh, effectively what our agency send there we have an agency that sends um, uh, basic elements of the campaign so mm -hmm. banners uh, and top row adverts and so on and so forth and no, I, I just go through and make sure everything's right, so like the date, the end date, uh, make sure the stars there, because we do exclude some things from these, which is, so we sort of need to make sure that the stars are there legally, and then like make sure everything's in place. Um, also some of the images, so like, they do sometimes get a bit confused with images, what they can and can't use, some things are, are and aren't in the offer, so I just go through, like take stuff out, put stuff in where, where it needs to be. If, if, say, for instance, you needed to crop this image, do you know how you would do that? Yeah. <laughs> so, say, we wanted uh, these boards up here. We could select the image in the layer, press Control T, and then we can crop it down by holding Shift as well. So we've got sort of a smaller yeah. image size. Yeah. Though that's resizing, not quite cropping. Do you know how to crop? So, for instance, if you wanted to make the image just that... Yeah, I'd totally take that out. Uh, image. You might need a tick, whatever you've just done. No. Hmm. That's why it's not letting you crop. Try clicking there. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why that wasn't working, but that worked just as well. You can reverse this if you need to. So there we go. So the, the tool up here on the right, uh, yeah, right hand side, yeah, uh, is, gives us the ability to crop it if, if we want to crop it down. Why would you maybe need to crop it down? Um, save space on, on our website, effectively. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if we've got off the off the marketing company provided something too big. Too big. Yeah. Yeah. yeah again, um, has has happened before, but. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, we do, or we have used this before, and we do need to sort of make sure that everything fits on the website quite nicely. Where are all the assets gone? Like, where does the marketing department get all the assets from? Do you want to know how to reverse that? Yeah. So, all, all, all these images, yeah, uh, we, so we, we own all the images. We have, we have an in-house photographer okay. who has, so every time we get a new product in, they sort of go through a process before they're put live on the website. And one of the first things is that they are photographed and then they're sent to another company to crop and edit and make sure they look so like there's no glare on them or there's no flash on them or yeah. all sort of that. So we, we own all the images. So of you them. never bring any other, so you own the copyrights for Yeah, we do. We, so all of this on our website. So all of these images we own along with everything else you see. So yeah, we don't bring anything in from like external. Okay. Well, that means no copyright issues. If you were bringing stuff in, Externally, what yep. sort of copyright things would you need to make sure you had? Um, uh, registered and trademark labels. Mm -hmm. So, um, so w one thing that we do have to be wary of is uh, we're uh, a stockist of Swarovski crystals. Okay. And Swarovski, Swarovski, a bit of a mouthful, insist that we have this authorised retailer um, okay. logo on all of our artwork. So that um, because we went through one hell of a process to make sure we got that, mm -hmm. and so and they always insist that whenever a good we do, seller, yes, Swarovski, yeah. yeah. So when whenever we do anything Swarovski related, we have to have Swarovski or the most reseller and the registered trademark next to the name. Fair enough. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, so you are you're happy with the banner? Say so you are yeah. happy with the banner. How yeah. would you export it and make sure that it's named correctly and safe? So export it. Simply go to uh, safe weapon devices. And check that. Yeah, that's the right size. So, yeah. so it's more appropriate. So, 
So the bully is called this. So we usually uh, use the name of the campaign and the date, obviously uh, for uh, reasons like internally the date is shortened because we can only have a set amount of characters in our system. But we're going to put it on our website. So all of these only take 20 characters of text. So we 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 call them sort of things and yeah it's strange <laughs> yeah I know um, but I know yeah yeah I understand. yeah so, so okay like all right cool let's let's move on to a sort of copy for an email yeah and so what email you use dot mail yeah you? we do I don't know loads about but talk me through what are the stages of sort of email marketing if you go you know from start to sort of finish and, and talk me through each bit that you're involved with. So this is just a basic test one that yeah. we have. So if I do like Stacey said, it's only good to go to myself. <coughs> so this is effectively what it looks like when it comes back from our agency that do our artwork as well. So they build it in dot mailer and then they build the artwork. Oh, do they? Yeah. So they make sure that... Like, uh, so if, if we have an animation like this one, that it looks all right, and then they'll just take, say, that bit and put it into our website artwork. So this is how we get it. We can put stuff down here like banners or more promotions or uh, something. We use a tool called Perius, which is a software where it's like recommendations. So it uses cookies and it recommends products for you. So that they can also be built into here. Do you know how 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 you do that? Um, Have you got one that you've 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 created yourself rather than test one? Just sort of just see copy that you've uh, created. I'll just 